A renovation project at a Luzerne County High School stadium leads to lead contamination and now the area is closed down while they fix it and that's forcing the team to practice and play elsewhere. 2822 News reporter Amelia Sack joins us in the studio with more from the school superintendent and what the parents in that district have to say about that temporary shutdown. Amelia. Nick, good evening. The Hanover Area School District Superintendent says they learned about the issue last Tuesday during the renovations. A notice went out the following day alerting the community. They say environmental experts are assessing the level of contamination and remediation efforts. And now parents are wondering how the closure will impact sports, fundraising and other activities. That's who's really going to lose out are all of our, our the kids at the district. Parents of student athletes are voicing their concerns after a bleacher repainting project at the Hanover Area Memorial Stadium resulted in lead contamination. Throughout the process, um, we had an idea that there is lead paint, so we had uh, lead paint abatement going on. Hanover Area School District Superintendent Nathan Barrett says the paint removal process accidentally spread lead particles to the locker room and some storage areas. The issue is contained. However, the stadium is unusable for the first two weeks of football season, leaving players to practice and play their games elsewhere. Some concerns are, you know, where the kids are practicing, which is right close to the um, highway right in front of the high school. Also, it does not just affect the high school students and that football program, but it also affects the peewee football program because they also play on that field. Parents say the issue impacts other sports and activities as well. There are, you know, special games, senior nights for other organizations like uh, soccer, field hockey, band, cheer, um, the mini Hawks use the stadium. These teams also use the stadium for fundraising events, which play an important role in keeping the organizations going. All of their fundraising isn't based just on the stadium, but a significant portion of it takes place there. And when these organizations now have to scramble to find other ways to raise funds, it, it makes it much more difficult for the student athletes to compete and prepare and have everything that they need in order to have a successful season. Now, the Hanover Area Superintendent says there is no reason to believe that anyone was in contact with the contamination, and this will not delay the start of the school year. Again, at this time, it's estimated that this will impact the first two weeks of the football season, but the hired environmental team will continue to assess. The superintendent says the district will provide additional information as it becomes available, and we will continue to follow up as well. Reporting in the studio, Amelia Sack, 2822 News. All right. Thanks, Amelia.